Hey, what's up again, everybody? It's Robert184, two hours to be from GundamReviews.net, and this is my follow-up video to my review of the Master Grade Full Armor Unicorn Gundam. Don't forget that I've got reviews all over the place of various high grades, master grades, including the Banshee and the version Katoki. But in the meantime, this one being green, you may have seen that I took the old version Katoki in red under a black light. So now let's see how this green one's gonna work out. So with the lights off and two lights, what they are, they're just down here beside the turntable, and you can see that you're not going to be getting the same kind of bright effect that you may have seen with the Master Grade Banshee, but if I bring these up into position and move them around in different places, the white is certainly going to glow. i got to fix up that shield there in its position. This is a very easy way to see if you've got the transformation right. But that green, I don't know how well it's going to come across on the camera compared to real life, but you do get a very, very cool effect from this when it's in its destroy mode. With just one light up, you can sort of see that you're going to be getting this effect, and if you actually were to go back there and backlight the whole thing, I wonder if that would blast any more of that green forward. Not so much. You're probably still better off in your display case if you get two of these and just standing them up right in front of the model that you're trying to actually get UV-ified. What made me want to get two of these black lights? Well, I'm going to say it's got to be the Banshee because I wanted to see how that orange in her frame. This is again with the lamps down on the ground and you can see that that orange is going to glow quite a bit more than the green. And when I bring the lamps up here to bear, you're going to be getting that sort of ice cool effect there over there with the regular full armor. Whereas that Banshee, no matter which angle you look at it, as long as it's got a little bit of light bouncing off of it, is going to look very cool. And that navy blue slash black is just going to eat up the rest of the light. So all you're going to see is the psycho frame.